Hi everyone, welcome to Statistics Bio 7 YouTube channel. I am Mohan Atanari. If you like our channel videos, please click the subscription button and support to me. Join to the YouTube channel membership. Let's go to today's video. Today we will discuss topic how to analyze the correlation coefficients with the create the data for the heat map with the labels. Okay, this is for the data set for the correlation coefficient with the heat map. Okay, well, we take the five different locations and the five different the water parameters, the pH, pH, salinity, DO, EC and DDS. Okay, we take the three time replication for the each locations. Okay, this data copy paste to the Argin Bro software. Copy the data title. Argin Bro, paste the data, data title. Copy the data. Paste the data. Okay, select the whole the data and go to the statistics menu and the descriptive statistics sub menu for the correlation coefficients. The open the dialog. Okay, open the new dialog for the uh, change no changes for the any setting. This is default settings. Okay, the correlation type for the Pearson correlation. So select the checkbox and exclude the missing value for the pairwise. Okay, the show the significant in the result table. Select the checkbox and flag significant correlation they click the checkbox ok then click the ok button they open the new two, two, uh, two tab for the result the correlation coefficients in the our data set the first one for the correlation coefficients the first one table for the no, uh, notes for the title of the da data the next one for the input data for the the data set for the range ok the next one third for the table the descriptive statistics for the uh, water parameter in the five uh, physical chemical water parameter in the pH, salinity, DO, EC and the DDS the num total number of sample the 50 the each replication for the three times so the pH mean value for the 6.98 the standard deviation 2.21 the sum of value for the pH 107 okay the minimum range for the pH 0 0.1 maximum range for the 9.6 value the same the uh, the uh, descriptive strategy explained for the the salinity data and the DO data, data the EC, the electrical connectivity data set and the DDS. Okay, the next one table for the Pearson correlation the table. Okay, this is for the Pearson correlation, the two times the test of the significant in use. The star mentioned to the correlation significant in the at the 0 0.05 level. Okay, the next one for the Pearson the table the separated in the this is for the significant for the red color mark in the high level significant. Okay, this is the data of uh, Output for the correlation coefficients, the pH and the pH value for the 1, the pH salinity correlation value for the lowest correlation 0 0.12, and the pH the DO the negative correlation for the moderate negative correlation for the minus 0 0.42, and also the negative correlated for the pH and the EC minus 0 0.27, and DDS and pH also the positive correlated in the 0 0.14. Then the salinity and the DO is uh, highly the negative correlated the minus 0 0.67 and also the um, EC and the DDS the, the highly negative uh, moderately and the slowly the highly correlated for the the EC and DDS data set the minus 0 0.55 okay this data set is created for the heat map with the label okay the select the uh, data uh, columns and go to the plot menu and go to the counter and click for the heat map with the label okay open the new tab for the heat map with the label the new dialog okay this input data for already selected the 1 to the 6 uh, column then the data layer to uh, y is uh, access the low columns also the standard the no changes for the standard settings the y value also the column label the column label is in login name the also the uh, setting for the don't changes then the click the ok button the created for the heat map this is a customizer for this heat map okay uh, the lyric by the long name and also this okay okay the ps and names for the end of the correlation coefficients
okay the customized for the font name change to font name the time roman and the font size is a 16 the double click for the title of the column the select the bold okay then this is a double click for the center of the heat map or right click the uh, click the plot details the open the new tab for the plot it this is a column color map for the customizer the coloring in the heat map okay this is for the change to the color column the uh, fill the button the click the open the new tab for the fill the difference color the loaded platter the thermometer is a standard uh, color so click select the variation colors okay blue orange then click the okay then apply okay this is a different color for the, the heat map the next one for the label the label change for the the font the time roman okay this uh, font the size 16 then click the bold then apply okay the font change then is for the numeric display format for the this is value for the uh, minus 0 0.55264 so the the reduce for the last three digit so the select this column dot 4 and the customizer the 2 okay then click the okay the okay 2 value the 0 after the mention to the 2 value okay then click the okay button the change the name for the physical chemical parameter and the customizer in the font okay the time roman 16 then select the bold okay the next also the this one the change the font font size 16 then click the bold okay this is for the color range scale right click properties this open okay this is change to the uh, different uh, arrangement for the vertical or horizontal the horizontal select for the scale okay this is a horizontal so the only change to the mm, okay graph fill the two layer then click ok ok double click properties this also the title for the already entered in the correlation coefficients the font time roman order is also selected then label the label the name change to the font time roman font size 16 and select the bold okay or change to the vertical the layout change to the vertical column okay this is a vertical column mm -hmm. okay the graph fit to the layer then click ok ok then selected this is for the heat map label with the correlation coefficient the data format created in the heat map okay thank you for watching this video if you any doubt leave me the comments in the comment box i will help you thank you for watching this video